What's up guys, today I found this six-year-old Pokemon box and today we're going to be opening it up to see what comes inside. So recently I went to one of my local card stores around me and I was like, well, I gotta pick. I want to pick up some stuff. I want to get some product that I haven't picked up in a little bit. I was thinking of getting some of the new Scarlet and Violet Build and Battle Stadiums or the Build and Battle Kits. I haven't really opened any of them up yet and I was kind of looking to try that. But when I went over there, I noticed they had a bunch of old Pokemon products from like 2015 to 2017 to 2018, like stuff that was containing mostly X, Y, and Sun and Moon packs. So today Today, that's exactly what I picked up and I did pick up this Marshadow figure collection box right here and as well I did also pick up this Pokemon treasure chest which I believe if I can check here is from 2018 actually and it's gonna have I believe I think at least a pack of Fates Collide in it and also some more Sun and Moon packs so I did pick up both of these today today I'm just gonna be opening up this one but stick around for a future video we're gonna be opening up this one probably on Friday I'm gonna be honest with you guys so um yeah so we're gonna be opening this one up today and just to kind of you know warm us up because this is a, a pretty cool box and I will be showing it off more and I did pick up a couple packs of Astral Radiance just to kind of you know warm us up get ready for some of these big packs in here a lot from the X and Y and Sun and Moon era so anyways let's open these up and then let's check out this box so 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 let's jump into a couple packs of Astral Radiance first to get us warmed up before we open up that pretty cool collection box I picked Astral Radiance because I do still have a lot of kind of big chase pulls I am looking for out of this set specifically the one that's kind of more near and dear to my heart is the Sneasler alternate art I don't know why but I've just been attracted to this card so much recently and I, I want it really really bad so my goal today is to also pull it a well, before, you know, before we open up the cool box, but yeah, that's why I went with these. These are kind of my packs I've been like softly grinding through right now to see if we can hopefully get a couple of the, a couple of the chase cards in here, specifically, you know, that sneezer. And then also there's like a bunch of other cool alts in this set. And I think the set in general is uh, is kind of underappreciated in terms of how much like cool stuff is in this set. Like, I mean, the Machamp alt art is super sick. Like there's just so much in this set that's just like super, super, super awesome. So let's go through this Astral Radiance pack. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully that Sneasler alt, I mean, that would, uh, that would make my day for sure. Poochiana there, and nice, a Luxray V Fuller, kind of forgot Luxray was in the set, not gonna lie there, but a super cool card, I really do like Luxray, so don't mind pulling that one whatsoever, we'll sleeve that up and add it to the back, a super nice pull to start the video off with there for sure, and I will give you guys kind of a brief rundown on what is in that box before I show it off. So it is the Marchow Premium Figure Collection Box, I believe. I don't know if premium is actually in the title of that one, but I know that it, uh, it in, is pretty premium now for a fact. I mean, uh, yeah, so it's going to have a two packs from the X and Y generation and then two packs from Sun and Moon. So I believe the two Sun and Moon packs are Crimson Invasion and then our two XY packs are going to be one Steam Siege. <laughs> Steam Siege, man, that's crazy. But, and the other one is going to be X and Y Ancient Origins, my favorite set of maybe all time, I guess I could probably say all time. I mean, pretty cool there, Glaceon there. But, um, yeah, I don't know why. This one, like, I saw that Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza pack art on it, and I was like, my, like, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. And I was like, I gotta get this today. I'm like, I cannot pass up on a pack of Ancient Origins. And I got the box for a relatively pretty good price, considering what these things, uh, you know, typically run for in terms of collection boxes that are, you know, over the age of two years old. You know, good luck getting anything that's, like, you know, two years older for a relatively good price. Like, I mean, it's just so, so, so hard. Like, all those sets in there are super, super super valuable like just in general like it's a super nice set I mean what do we got Hoopa in there I know a lot of people don't like Hoopa but I do Hoopa, Septile, Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon like the list goes on and on and on I think the champs in the set too do want there and our regular rare Feevil so we do have two more to go let's see what you guys are going to pick here I think I'm going to save the Samurott pack to last. I have a good feeling about that. And I think the Decidueye pack art has always kind of let me down in terms of the pulls. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I've had uh, any particularly good pulls from Decidueye pack art works. Hopefully today we can change that up. But we will see in here for sure. Maybe someone out of the Trainer Gallery. I know the set does have a pretty cool Trainer Gallery. The Cleavor card in there. I'm trying to think of other ones that are kind of notable from the Trainer Gallery. Obviously, the um, I feel like the Garchomp is a big one for sure. Oh, dude, what's with me and Trainer? I just have to speak it. I swear, a Bomb of Snow out of the Trainer Gallery there, and then a Registeel, so a super nice one there. I mean, 
I swear, anytime I say the word trainer gallery in the pack I'm holding, it just magically like, boof, and then a trainer gallery hit just appears inside of it, regardless of what I say. It just, it just manifests in there, I guess. Like, maybe that's just how it works. We do have one last pack of Astral Radiance here to go through. Hopefully, hopefully we can get that Sneasler in here. That would, uh, that would make my day for sure. More than it's already been made with finding that awesome box in there for sure. But we will go through this one really quick to see what's in here. And again, I mean, let's see. If we can double down on the Trainer Gallery hits, that would be super awesome in there. And I think I do see something in here. Nice, the Starmie V with Misty in that one. That's actually a super nice card there, not regular rare, is a Rapidash. Dude, check that one out. I think the fact that this card has Misty in it is honestly crazy. Like, any of like the OG kind of Pokemon characters that you can get in a card are awesome. I, we haven't seen, this I feel like is an awesome opportunity for like an Onyx with Brock in it. Like, dude, like that would be an insane trainer gallery pull. Like, I mean, I, I guess I don't make them anymore for Scarlet and Violet. It's more like the art rares, but like, come on, yeah, that would be insane if they slipped one of those in like that card, like as a textured hit, that would be crazy. Like an, I guess like, could you do like an Onyx EX maybe? I know there's this, the, uh, the original 151 set coming soon maybe maybe they slip it into that one we'll see i mean that would be honestly crazy if they did but i guess now we have opened up all the after packs we've warmed up we've, we've got some good hits we warmed up all right and now i think it's time we crack in to the Marshadow premium figure collection box not premium figure collection box hold the premium i know they love to use that word but yeah definitely in here i guess i can bring it down to the mini cam over here so as you can see there is some ancient origins some steam siege and then crimson invasion with a cool marshadow figure actually in there for sure and then the marshadow hollow there not like in a, a gx or an ex uh promo card in here which i mean i guess is fair you know what the nice thing is is that it does kind of bring the price of the box down a little bit you don't have to pay for another promo in it so i mean in that regard i think we can't really complain in here but i think i'm going to open this box up we'll check the figure of the promo and we'll start getting into these packs all righty so everything is out of the box now. I did nearly destroy my finger as I was poking out the Marshadow promo because I kind of forgot how uh, kind of embedded they are in there when you open these old boxes up. So I did smash through the plastic with my finger, but you know, we're, we're all right. So fingers are intact. So as you can see right here before I show off the promos, we do have the packs and oh my gosh, I, I, I cannot stop looking at it. Like, Oh, it's so beautiful. It, and this is like a $30 pack in Canada. So the fact that we got this for like a really, really good deal. I think Steam Siege isn't really cheap either. And then Crimson Invasion, a pretty cool set in here. I don't actually remember a lot of the cool cards or hits in here. So, I mean... Maybe we'll be finding out today. Like, I hope we get, like, oh, dude, if we can get that Rayquaza out of here or even, like, another Sceptile. I will take a duplicate Sceptile, like, for sure. But, I mean, dude, check those out. Just crazy packs there. I'm going to set those to the side for right now so we can quickly check out the other stuff that did come in it. And I will actually give you guys the code there. And I did notice behind the actual Ancient Origins pack... I mean, it's kind of a minor thing, but I am throwing it in. They did throw in this little Pokemon Center promotional item with some of the, I guess, stuffed animals on there, like plushies and... Uh, and I guess like an Eevee figurine, some of the hats, and then a mug for like the kind of an 8-bit Pikachu there. Something cool. I Honestly, it's something they don't throw in a lot to these kind of more modern boxes. So, I mean, I don't know. It's an old box. I got to kind of chuck it in to see, you know, what, what Pokemon was like back in the day of old uh, 2018. So, here is our Marshadow promo here. I mean, it, it, it's like a holographic promo. There's nothing too, too crazy on this. I mean, a GX would have been nice. I'm not going to lie, but it is super cool. I do like the holographic pattern on them, especially on these promos. They do do quite a nice job on the holo pattern there. So we will set that one to the back just to kind of remember it. But yeah, here is our Marshadow figurine if it will focus. So there is Marshadow right there. Pretty cool figure. I like how he's kind of like kicking through the air. I mean, pretty cool there. I'm gonna be curious to see how this thing actually stands up, if I can stand it up. Yeah, it actually stands relatively pretty good, so I'm not too, you know, I was kind of worried it would fall over, but I guess they do a pretty good job on these, like, premium figures, so, I mean, for that, it is pretty cool there. I will make sure it focuses, but yes, a cool figure to get for sure. I mean, can't complain with that. I will set little Marshadow back there, and I guess it's time to get into some of these packs. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Now, Forgive me if I'm wrong, or is that Burning Shadows? I was thinking about Ho-Oh. I'm thinking Ho-Oh's Burning Shadows. I, 
I'm pretty sure that's the Burning Shadows pack art, if I'm not mistaken on there. But anyways, yes, I'm going to save Ancient Origins to the last because I've hyped that one up so much. I can't do it first. And then we'll go We'll go in this order. We'll go. So we'll actually go from newest to oldest here. So we'll save Ancient Origins to the back and we'll go in this order. So yes, Crimson Invasion. Honestly, barely opened up this set when it was in its kind of uh, major print wave, I guess. Like, And I know this is one of the earlier sets in Sun and Moon. Oh, a real crisp seal on that pack there. Always something good to see. But yeah, I know this is one of the earlier sets in Sun and Moon, so we're not gonna get any of those like tag team cards that I feel like are the more, you know, are the more common cards to get these days. But but yeah, now I think this one is still, if I'm not mistaken here, I think this one's four, right? Because if this is if the I don't wanna check, I don't wanna check, but Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, there's an energy there. That's what we want to see because if it's not an energy, that means we, we did something wrong. But as well was there. Cubum, very nice art on that one, actually. Execute there. Ooh, I like that Magikarp there with the kind of Magikarp ship in the background there, too, if you guys could see that. And then we have a Mancino and our reverse. No, not our reverse hollow yet, but our reverse hollow is a Misdrevious. And I do like how they used to do the reverse hollows in, you know, Sun and Moon. I mean, it's definitely a minor thing, but we do have a Houndoom there. So nothing good out of our first pack, which I mean is good, honestly, because that means hopefully the hits got kind of saved towards, you know, the, the, the XY packs kind of is what I'm kind of hoping for. But Crimson Invasion, our second pack here. Let's see what's kind of in this one. And I forget if these collection boxes actually ended up having like any really massive pulls in them. I'm sure, you know, people know who actually probably opened these up when they actually released i didn't so i'm kind of in the dark on this one gastrodon there swine up jigglypuff houndor pikachu check that one out. that's actually a super nice card actually i'll probably have to give this one to tristan i think i know he has this pikachu binder i don't know if he has this one though but then we have a skiddo there a jang mo -o -o. jang mo -o -o. whoa 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 too many o's jang mo -o. And then our regular rare is a Hydreigon right there. I do like the Hydreigon though, that is quite neat. So, two packs left and I mean, I think we definitely saved the best for last. Oh, dude, it's just so beautiful. Like, I, I just can't stop looking at it. The colors on it, the, the pack, the title, oh, it's just so beautiful, it's so beautiful. Speaking of not beautiful, Steam Siege, guys. I know there is a lot of, uh, you know, negative thoughts around this set, but I, I like it. I like the dual type cards. I like Volcanion. I don't know. I know. Like, I know a lot of people in this are probably like, but, you know, I don't know. I, I, I like this set a lot. I think this is a pretty good set. So, let's go through it. Let's see what's in here. Krogunk, Tangela, Dino, Chimchar, Rufflet. Our rare is actually cool. That's actually cool that we're getting fairy types. I think the other pack had a couple fairy types in it, too. I just didn't really notice. And... Our last card in Steam Siege is no way! What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh my! What? No way! What? Volcanion EX Secret Rare, dude! What, dude? I have pulled. Oh man! I said I like Volcanion, and I mean, I guess the pack spoke to me. What? A secret rare Volcanion EX, dude, that is wild. I, 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 I can't even speak, I can't even speak right now, guys. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that is a beautiful card. I cannot believe we pulled this one. That's insane. I, I don't know how much this one goes for. It's Volcanion, so it probably isn't crazy, but it is a secret one, and it's got Xerneas in the background there. I, I gotta sleeve this one up right away. Oh my goodness gracious. That is beautiful. Oh, dude, I have not pulled any of like the secret rares out of XY. So like, this is my first real one. I pulled the Blastoise a couple of videos ago, which is like a super, super nice card, but it's not a secret rare. It is like a gold border one, but this one is like a true alternate art secret rare. Like, cause this is how they kind of used to do the alts back in the day, I would say. But like, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I am literally speechless right now. We will set that one to the back there. And we still do have our last pack of Ancient Origins here. Hopefully this one has another gold card in it. I would go nuts if it does. So I guess without further ado, we just, oh, I, it, almost feels, it almost feels like a sin to, you know, break the seal on this pack, but we're gonna do it. We're just going into it. Oh my goodness, dude, that is, look at that right there. 
Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This set is my bread and butter, man. Like this set is literally my bread and butter. Like, we gotta see what we can get in here, man. This this, this, this set is beautiful. Ty Tyrant, I can't even speak. I, I literally can't even speak out of the card. Tyranitar, Spirit Link, Sableye there, Matang, Larvesta, Magikarp, Persian, and I'm pretty sure there's a Giratina in this set too. Yeah, there is. I literally bought the card the other day. What am I talking about? Like, there is a Giratina in this set. I'm pretty sure the Fuller's in it too. Whooper, Vaporeon in the Holograph, or Reverse Hollow Spot, and our last one of the day is... No way! Yes! Let's go! Mega Tyranitar! Dude, we got the Spirit Link too. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Dude, look at that! We got the Spirit Link to start the pack off. Talk about foreshadowing. And then a Mega T-Tar EX. Dude, that is awesome! What a, what a crazy way to end it off! Two crazy pulls out of uh, the XY generation. One out of my favorite set for sure, and then one out of the worst set. Like, this has to be the- I think this is the best card in Steam Siege, but... Oh my goodness, dude! I have to sleeve this one up too! This is crazy! Oh, we like- we actually had super good pulls today, guys! That is wild, check that one out there. But anyways, I think we did super all right for the pulls here. I mean, we did get our Luxray to start it off, then the Obama Snow, the Starmie V out of the Trainer Gallery, the Secret Rare Volcanion EX, and the Tyranitar Mega Titar EX. That is just crazy, oh my goodness. I am so happy we picked up this box today. And just to let you guys know, if you do want to see me open up another, you know, vintage box, because this one here, it does come with, I believe, Two Lost Thunder Packs, one Sun and Moon Base, one Burning Shadows, and then one Fates Collide Pack. So, a good pack selection in here. It's pretty heavy, so, I mean, if it's heavy, it's got to have good pulls, right, guys? So, I think I'm going to be opening this one up pretty soon, too. So, if you do want to see that, I can even pull it down here for a second. So, if you do want to see this opened up for sure, let me know. There is there is a lot of cool stuff, and it is a pretty cool, like, treasure chest lunch pail thing, too. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video with these two juicy pulls right here to finish us off with from... Like one of the best sets in X and Y Ancient Origins and one of the worst sets in X and Y Steam Siege. I think we did pretty well today out of this, you know, six year old Pokemon box. Like, that's crazy. But, anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.